I'm back. Right, we good to go? Uh, yeah, we're pretty good. Uh, yeah, we're ready. Yeah. Just need to do one last audio test. The last one went a little janky. Oh, yeah, by the way, do we have any healers? I can, I do heals. I got cure wounds. Wait, are we playing something today, or are we just talking? No, 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 no. We're, we're just talking. <laughs> Okay. They were talking about we're King. Not talking about a um, arc survival evolved. All right, that's the topic, well, right? Way you spoiled the the topic, Otto. God, it began already. I don't know. Did it? <laughs> I'm I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, I thought, I don't know. You you, you told me something <laughs> secret. My bad. <laughs> Jeez, what are we just like trying to like? Yo, guys, we're gonna talk about hey, Melinda. Uh, don't worry, worry, I know about today. it. Good then who's you. being surprised? Nobody. <laughs> okay. Yo, oh, man, poor David. I'm sorry, David. I'm sorry we didn't tell you. What were you trying to say, David? No, oh no, I'm like, hey guys, what are we gonna talk about today? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean topic today is, uh, well, I, I, I guess I'll respond. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'll censor it. Let me, um... Oh, wait, are you already recording it? Maybe. Perhaps. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just joking. It's, uh, yeah, we always start. have, like, these nice... Hey, quick question. Do you hear, like, these popping noises right now? Sorry? Do you hear, like, these popping noises? Like, some... Anything from my end? Not really. No. Okay, now, what about now? Yeah, I can hear that now. Yeah, okay, okay, I can hear that now. Okay, okay, all right, so that means uh, this setup is good. Man, this is a terrible cold opening, I must say. <laughs> okay, tell us when it's starting. Give us a little three, two... No, so we, are you going to be... Are like you going to be recording your screen, or are you just going to be recording the audio? Just recording the audio, mate. What are you using for it? <laughs> the Windows Movie Recorder. Bruh. <laughs> no, it was Windows. No, Fraps. I cannot work under such lousy. <laughs> He's using Fraps. I demand. <laughs> I demand. Uh, all right, all right. All right. Adobe Audition. All right, let's just get started. Yeah, shall I'll, 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 let's okay. get started. We're, all, we're already coming up on three minutes. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Again? <laughs> Alright. Alright, but, uh, yes, yeah, so... Oh, Rahul, if you want me to, um, I can do, like, a little bit of a... Because I still have the game, so I can do a gameplay, and then I can just record it and send it to you, if you want. Actually, yeah, sure. Alright. Yeah, alright, now, with, with all that out of the way... Hello! Welcome, everybody, to yet another podcast, and by everyone... I'm probably talking about, like, the 22 people that have been watching this podcast series for the past year or so. Specifically the five people who finished them. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, those are the real ones. Real legends. <laughs> Two of them being us, probably. <laughs> oh, well, speak for yourself. I didn't even know this podcast existed. <laughs> See, now you wonder why it took us so long to get you on. Jesus Christ, Otto. <laughs> yeah. You're so rude, You're so rude, Otto. <laughs> yeah, it, it, Big it, oof. It, you know what? You know what? There. <laughs> <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, oh. uh, hello everybody. It is I, Repot Reptiles. Joined again by a uh, local resident. David, aka the radioactive octopus. Now we have a few new faces. Um, oh boy. Wait, this is what uh, you were having trouble with? Introducing us? <laughs> Seriously? Ma ma mainly you, all. <laughs> we've, been, we've known each other since grade five. I thought you'd know my name by now, but okay, you know. No, he doesn't. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's fine. It's not like I do watch any of your stuff. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I mean, you just said, man, I mean, you, you they, they have brains. <laughs> they can introduce themselves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, All right. All right. Uh, coming in 
with a 360 no scope headshot double kill. <laughs> <laughs> He's fought in the war zone for the Call of Duty! Straight <laughs> from 2014. <laughs> Last squad standing extraordinaire! Uh, and a personal friend of mine from high school again, Melinda Speedy, aka MTD Speedy. Welcome! E. Yeah. And then there's Otto. <laughs> 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 What's my nickname in this? I'm actually—is this still the old one? You don't even have a nickname right now. It's, it's just Otto. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, I mean, what was it? I mean, you, know, know. you 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 had a nickname for me right before in the old days, or was it just uh, the like a peekaboo still? Yeah, I like a peekaboos. Fair. I mean, like usually when I say the nicknames, it's always our YouTube account names. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, Damn. Uh, I really should have put more thought into my game attack all that. Those yeah, years ago. yeah, you should have. You should have. Yeah. God damn. All right, gentlemen. So, like, with six minutes in the clock, uh, today we're talking about, uh, well, we're going to be talking about a game that, I, is it fair to say we have mixed feelings about it? Like, from the majority? Well, I think it's fair. Yeah. I think it's fair. It's a, it's a, it's a love-hate relationship. It's a tragic you know, painful, you know, ending to an otherwise incredible, you know, dream that, you know, ended in a nightmare, but, you, you know. You know what, yeah, yeah, I'll take that, I'll take that. Today, yeah. have it mixed with hell, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, today, gentlemen, we are talking about the game, Ark Survival Evolved. Uh, <sighs> what? <laughs> I, I know we started off That's on a really fine. bad foot, like, in terms of how we feel about the game, but maybe it'd be better if we just started off with some of the good. Uh, I, like, I don't really want to do this like the Jurassic World Evolution podcast, really. I mainly want to talk about our own personal accounts, but I feel like I, uh, we should probably go through, uh, you know, just the basic information, like, bare bones, uh, Actually, wait, no, not yeah. Remember, we got into it late. Unlike that, too, we got into it, like, later. Yeah, I, I guess... played her for, like, a year or so. Yeah, I think, like, I guess one way we could start this is how do we, you know, become associated with this game? How do we know about it to begin yeah. with? Uh, for me, I knew it through Otto. Like, he was talking about it nonstop. I think it was... Yeah, you kept showing us the Angry Joe videos... Where him yeah. and his buds were playing it. Yep. And then you just, like, kept telling me about it. And I remember, like, vaguely seeing that first... I kind of want to say teaser trailer or some trailer of it. Um, where the guy's, like, running through the jungle and there's a T-Rex on his tail. But we don't know it's a T-Rex until it, like, breaks through the wall. Uh, I saw that, but I didn't think much of it. But then you were talking about it and then I got interested. Uh... So yeah, that's me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, and the whole interest me to do it as well. Yeah. I actually knew about it first from this YouTuber I used to watch called uh, Lathland, and he did play game videos. But one day he play he was doing like a single player kind of playthrough of Ark, and I watched a couple episodes of that one. It looked real interesting. I wouldn't start playing it until like a couple years later though. Yeah. Yeah. To me, this game was like a dream come true for me. Because, like, ever since I first started playing Minecraft, I always thought to myself, oh my god, imagine, like, a game, like, a survival game where you can do somewhat similar mechanics where you gotta, like, you know, you know, mine for certain, you know, minerals and, you know, stuff, and then build, you know, houses, and there's all sorts of, like, weapons and cra crafts and tools and all that stuff, and, you know, fight off these beasts, but with realistic graphics and all that stuff, right? Right. Because uh, I love Minecraft, but that, that, that the separation of reality was, you know, uh, something I wish there was another game that could just sort of bridge for me. But um, when I saw Ark, I was like, this is it. Like, oh my it's god. Funny. It's, it's actually it's... funny because there's, a, there's actually quite a few games that like, like that even before Ark. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, you're right about Ross. that. But like, yeah. I think the mechanic, I, I, you, you are right about that, but I feel like what made Ark more unique was from the dinosaurs and everything and also like i actually really liked the um, 
the depth, the, the, the level of stuff you can build, you know? It's pretty imaginative. I, I know there are also a few other games, but I don't know if they were to that level. And also the graphics were pretty good too, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. You know, I mean, okay, we can get to the graphics a bit later too in terms of the games, you know, overall performance. But like, yeah, in the beginning, you know, this for me was like, yo, this is like my dream come true. Like, I need to play this game. And I got, I you know I try to get as many people involved as I can. We tried to start a server together. And I remember from the first day me and Rahul started playing, I instantly fell in love. I'm like, yes, yes. I'm like, I'm home. This is it. Let's do it. And uh, yeah, so... Man, I feel so sorry for you, Otto, now, because, uh, because, yeah. of, because of the bull yeah. crap we need to talk about later. But, it hurts. It's like... But, yeah, yeah, but, like, before we get into, like, the pain and suffering of the game, which yeah. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are thinking, oh, what went wrong with poor them? It's like, what? I do want to talk <laughs> about, like, uh, our own personal experiences with the game, mm. uh, because, you know, um. we had some genuinely good moments on there. Oh, oh yeah, amazing. oh my for god! Sure. Yeah. Like 2018 summer, that was probably like one of the best times for this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we did so much together. Like, the game had so much potential. I mean, it wasn't just us; it was very popular too. A lot of people yeah. were yeah. buying into this. Yeah. But it the problem was like you know it, it became pretty apparent that. We were buying a game, you know, at full price at launch, yet it felt like we were being beta tested or something, you know? Because uh, as we that kept... That is a way to put it. But yeah. we died with me in a way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but, Technically but, speaking, I mean, you, got, you, know, like, you guys could just go without. Yeah, the game had a lot of potential. But it was just kind but of even then, it was the causing end. problems for y'all too, right? Yeah, yeah it was we'll, causing problems. We'll get to the, that eventually but okay do kind of so let's get let's talk about the good you know yeah, yeah. Uh, i mean the good was um i remember playing it and you know it's it was it, it, it like a new experience at the time you know you just kind of thrown into this thing into this island and you could do whatever you want right yeah now functionality was real it, it was already iffy to begin with like I don't think combat ever really worked for me. Most of my hits would go through enemies. <laughs> yeah. And that's how I died. But, most but of the it, time. To, to the game's defense, and this is probably the one, first only time I'll ever defend it, you're using a trackpad, mate. True. <laughs> you know? True. <laughs> oh, um, true. But my, yeah. like, I put my, t the fun, so the thing is, I, used, I was using a trackpad, but my book, I put my hit button to X. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is, when I say hit something, I mean I am holding a hammer or some bullshit, right? Yeah. And I hit it, and the and the stone part of the pickaxe or axe or whatever is in the thing's head, right? Mm -hmm. But the game doesn't register this as a hit because the hitbox is like towards the center of the body. Oh. It's really weird. Yeah, yeah, they were. Um, I, I other than that, that I'd argue other that than because I do have moments where I do end up hitting creatures in the tail or the neck or the legs. Yeah, yeah especially see, in the big ones. You, you see the key word there was moments? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, I say moments lightly <laughs> because like, it mainly depends on what I'm hitting. But yeah, it's like I don't know, I never really encountered that. But but game. other than that, functionality for most of it was or was was pretty good. Um I remember our first our first like when we decided all right, we need to like set up a home base on the beach. And we were making this house and it kind of got all bigger and bigger and bigger. We we're oh, making yeah, rooms. The lake house. And then and then two spinosaurs decided to just make their <laughs> yeah. The AI ends. was like, huh, well, that's a nice little house you got there. Let me just like drop two spinos next to you. Yeah. Remember that we, and I remember I remember one of one of our earliest like memories was 
it attacked our house, so we were just huddled inside it as the <laughs> thing was shaking, and <laughs> the dinosaurs are like glitching through the walls. Yeah, so you can see like its lightning. head. Yo, I I remember. Uh, I don't know if it was a Triceratops, but like there was this oh, one time. No. Yes, <laughs> we just the started. First time playing with me and Ronald. We we just started. We had this tiny little thatch hut thing. Okay, we were barely surviving, and then you know there was this triceratops. They were hum. They were they were harmless. They were just minding their business. They're not trying to eat us, you know. And uh, but you know, I went to say hi to them, and I think I may have accidentally slapped them. Um, they did not take that kindly. They 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 really did not. I think I violated their privacy or something. They started chasing me back. Um. They, like it, it, we, we immediately went to our hut. We thought that we were safe, you know. Like okay, I see their little noses going through the hut because this game is you know glitchy as hell. But yeah, it's not like they're doing any damage. Then we saw the walls start disappearing, and <laughs> <laughs> it was raining. It was night. It was dark. It was scary. <laughs> and I was oh scared. yeah, I remember the, the, when they poured out the house. We just see smokes and their silhouettes. <laughs> <laughs> And then the lights would go off as they're destroying the walls. I had the like the torches and everything, and it was just like everything is falling apart. Everyone, like, we were so scared. And then, but these relatively harmless creatures all over, uh, uh, you know, me just slightly screwing up and just accidentally hitting them. And I'm like, oh no. Yes. Um, actually, Melinda, were you there when we were making the lake house on the island? Uh, I think I wasn't there when you guys were building it, but I did get to see it at the end. Yeah, you mm. did see it. Yeah, I think you were also there when, uh, when we had Ray, the Spinosaur. Yeah, I think the whole squad was there when, when we kind of first played it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I think it was my suggestion to actually try and capture it. Yeah, me and Otto, we were probably so skittish about it, like, oh no, oh no, <laughs> don't yeah. do it, don't do it. Yeah, it was, it's also funny how, like, we actually learned a lot about, um, just, like, the game indirectly taught us a little bit about, you know, uh, resources and like how you know man's effect on you know yeah. the land was like I mean I remember when we were building our little house the resources we needed to build all that wood and everything we would be chopping trees chopping trees chopping trees and all that stuff we, had, we would build it right next to a forest and then we go back to our house we look back I'm like oh my god the entire forest is like gone just to build our crappy little house yeah. you know and it's like Damn. And it's also cool because, like, this game, you, you plopped in, there's no story, you just have to survive, there's no assigned leader. Actually, and... actually brief interruption. Sorry, Otto. Yeah. There is a story in there. Uh, oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, you're I'll, right. I'll yeah. explain it a little more later. Please continue. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I mean, yeah, you're right. There is a bit of a story. But, like, you know, when you initially get on, you don't know anything. You're just trying to survive, right? Yeah. Uh, and it's also cool how initially me and you were trying to, like, you know, you know, run things and keep things organized. But then eventually just, you know, David just came out of nowhere and just, like, nah, I'm, I'm stomping my feet. We're doing things my way. And you guys are going to do as I say. And we just sort of, like... Okay. And then we started literally just doing everything he started saying, and then he, yeah. and then I, mean, and I never said it like that. <laughs> I mean, you know, he was uh, was he a well, good it was leader? a case of hey guys, can can you get me some wood? He was like, sure, and then it stopped because and then I stopped asking. That is such a telling. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, Otto would bring back wood, and Rahul would bring back pencils. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Welcome, you Rahul had <laughs> such a to this, to this day, I still don't know how you- I still don't know how you- how Rahul you fucked up the weight management. Yeah! <laughs> This yeah, guy was, was just spending the guy. whole time just chopping one type of item and then fill his inventory up with that one item, then crawl his way back. <laughs> then he'd had less than you. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Because like you know, if you get a certain amount and just run back and then dump it in and then go back and get a certain amount and then dump it, you're gonna be quicker. But you know, crawling back to the hut <laughs> for half yeah. a month to return your items just didn't work. Exactly, because we go from like thatch to wood to stone, and then we keep building up and up, and it yeah. gets, gets crazier and more realistic. I, I remember like uh, Rahu was so you know held back and you know sort of taken aback by his own slowness you know we're like <laughs> we're making progress i remember when we were venturing forward we're like hey let's make a quick wooden house or something and i was like no no we're not doing that it'll take us forever we don't have time all that stuff i'm like what are you talking about it's nothing it's so quick he's like, no, it's gonna take us forever this and that he's like oh, we can get this done no problem and we got it in no problem <laughs> like, it's like I, I, I real management bro <laughs> I guess it's because I like how quick thatch is to make. It's it not, is. yeah. It's not like the greatest in the game, but you know, it's like if, it's I, if, if I want a quick structure, then yeah, mm. thatch, and then you can replace it with whatever you want and get your resources back. Exactly. Also, I think when you collect a disposable sugar resource, like you just forgot to take out the other one. <laughs> You'd be smacking a piece of wood for days, and eventually the thatch built. Well, oh, thatch! It, it, it weighs nothing, but it sucks the head off. And... Yeah, 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 it does. But hey, with that thatch, we uh, we got some pretty nice uh, fire out of it. That is true. Yeah, yeah, it is. <clears throat> I mean, then again, you are right. I mean, Rahul, eventually, Rahul became in charge of getting food. Y yeah. That's true. <laughs> 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 David uh, also would just con continuously change up designs. Like, oh, I want to make a house in the in the river. Oh, I want to add this whole new layer. You know what, guys? I really don't like that thing. How about I build something over here? Let's travel to the other side of the island and you know build something over there. Hey, how about we just delete the, the entire the game and restart it? <laughs> oh yeah, that happened. You did that. <laughs> no. A lot. So that was towards the beginning, though. We were just kind of testing out yeah, everything. I was happy, you no? Know? Yeah, yeah. Melinda is right. Like, I, I remember. So like, to my house. Yeah, like I remember in the beginning, we had like a house closer to a spawn, and then after that, we kind of had a house, uh, relatively close to the spawn, but we had like a dodo pin. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah oh, was... I remember. Yeah, that was a that was a stone house, right? No, yeah, no, yeah, no. no, it was. Yeah. It was a stone house. Yeah. Yeah. Later, I wanted to make the uh, ri the the river house. Mm. Yeah. So one of my had, greatest, like, crea greatest houses, creations right? to date. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Melinda. I think we had like multiple houses, didn't we? Yeah, we, yeah, we, also we did. moved across and had some multiple houses too. But yeah, yeah. it was crazy. Yeah. yeah so um... I think we can agree that like, the building mechanics were pretty. Good, yeah, but in, the, it allowed us to be creative. And express I miss it. it. I miss it already. Damn it! Yeah, no, there was a, there was a, it, it, Don't get me wrong. There was a lot of like work, like a lot of grinding, if you might say. But because like what you're doing is sort of like, but the amount of grind you put in is limited to what you want to do. You know, so you don't feel like the game is forcing you to do anything. It's mm. you forcing yourself. It's you wanting to build this cool thing. And you're willing to do it, you know? And I'm not going to lie, it helps when you have someone who has a good vision for stuff. Like, I mean, I initially, my ideas for certain houses wasn't as good. And then David started going crazy. And I mean, I'm not, I mean, did we spend hours and hours just, you know, chopping down trees and, you know, deforesting the entire <laughs> game? Yes. But was it worth it? Because we built a really fancy, nice little house? Yes. Yeah. You know? So, I think, this, uh, I think uh, it did have some uh, uh, consequences later on. Yeah. And, and and by consequences, I mean how Rahul decided to admin his map. <laughs> oh Cause boy. Well, we'll I, I don't because because here's the thing like we were on. I think we a lot of us enjoyed the grind, but Rahul didn't. <laughs> no, he did not. Yeah. Well, I mean, how really can you tell. enjoy the grind when you're slugging your way back to the? <laughs> Out with a bunch of thatch that we're not gonna use when, because when we're building become, it in wood and stone. Boy, that thatch kept us fishermen. warm through the night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That bit was not good for Rahul, I imagine. Yeah, but like one thing I really want to talk about is when we made the boat. 
<laughs> yes. Let's talk about oh, like oh, oh, the I boat have and many all stories with that boat. That, oh, that was the fun part. Boaty. That Boaty. was so good. First of all, we had to screw around so much with the game's mechanics to get that boat to work. <laughs> you could tell the game did not want that to be made. And they just made it increasingly difficult, and you had to trick the the like the what do you call it? you had to trick the program in to like allow it to be made. And we should probably we should probably explain first. Yeah, yeah. Can you explain? So in the game, and you can make a raft, and it's a very simple structure, right? But we wanted to because we wanted to you know build turn it into a real like structural boat, right? We wanted yes, a, a mobile base. A boat like so, like basically you build a house on a boat. But the game doesn't really allow to just directly make stuff on the boat, or at least in a proper manner. Yeah. So Otto looked up some nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> like glitch the game to let us do it. Yeah. Yeah, it was like you build underneath and it kind of kind of attaches he, underneath. Exactly. And you're like, yeah, and it, it was just hilarious. And we, and we you had to like build, you got to put these, like, what do you call the, um, the, the, the stuff on the raft and then sort of like build on it, but then you're limited to a certain amount of um, space. Um, space and, you know, uh, what do you call it? Bricks or like, you know, uh, walls or uh, uh, units of structure, structural units or whatever. You're limited to how much you can use, right? right. But, Regardless, we, 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 the guys on YouTube and all the other gamers, like, it, it shows the passion they had to. They figured it out. They got around the stupid programming. I don't know why the game just didn't allow us to go crazy. Whatever. We built this awesome boat. It was awesome. I loved it. And the plan was to, we saw in the map that there was this path across oh, this, wait, you know, wait, swamp. Wait, wait, wait. Let's save that for a little later. Because... Okay, yeah. Because <laughs> well, that... Yeah, wait. Actually, David, did you make your own mm -hmm. boat? Or do we use Otto's boat for the fishing trip? No, 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 no. We used Otto. You know, it's funny. There's so much history we're skipping. Like, remember before we learned how to change the tether system? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Oh. All right, so in case yeah. you guys don't know... In Arc, uh, if you have a local server, you can only have like four people maximum plus the server admin. But when you get in, like the max tether distance, I think it's like nine feet, ten feet from the server admin. And we were not having that because there would be moments where I want to go to a different part of the island just to explore new grounds. But in doing that, I either get like slingshot back to the server admin or everyone gets slingshotted to me and it was not fun oh my actually one time when i was the server admin i decided to spawn in a different location after i died and then all of a sudden you guys just spawned next to me it's like oh no <laughs> no that was a much worse situation because it works like a slingshot where right? you get yeah, dragged exactly. into the person right exactly. not like you teleport so this one time we uh wanna uh, like the main admin died we were in another house far away from our main home right and one of the server admin, uh, the server admin died, and they was re they respawned in a bed in a in our other home. Suddenly, I'm being pulled towards him, except I'm on the other side of the freaking map, and I'm inside a home, so I'm attached to the wall, and I'm just I just can't move. I'm just stuck. <laughs> and I'm I just should, like, I should I should also mention we played on private servers only. We never played on. Yeah. Oh yeah, that we should have clarified. Yeah. We did discuss it, but, you know, there were a lot of, like, uncertain variables, and we just kind of decided to skip out. Which is a damn yeah. shame, because there's more than mm, so us they... in our friend group that play the game, and... Oh, man, it would have been so much more fun if we got more people in, but... I think we'll never what else? That. So, something else to note. Um, one of our earliest challenges was running into alpha raptors on the beach. Oh, <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, that reminded me of a story. I'll tell you guys later because that's on the other map that we played on the most. 
So most of our adventures took place on the main map. Um, Actually, the first beach house, second beach house, third, which then became the lit the river house. So basically, it was a house on like you know we make a house on the beach, and we mostly level we mostly did everything around the beach. So we level up. We rarely went deeper. One a because obviously you know the more into the island you go and the day more dangerous creatures. Yeah. Were be trees and the shadow the shadows even though I put them to minimum fucking destroyed my FPS so I didn't want to go to her. Yeah. Um, um. However, the um the David. So yeah, I'm here. I'm oh, okay, trying to think of where to go from. So the third, the fourth house we made rather be normal. I wanted to. I realized the pillars go to the bottom of the ocean, and then you could build a ceiling on top of the pillar to create a floor on the water. So I made a water. So I wanted to do a water house, right? One thing was nice is that in the water, because of the system, you're not really restricted by terrain. It's just how many pillars you have to make going down. Yeah. Um, to create the foundation, and we did it eventually. Mm. Yeah, but we never truly finished that house, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, Ooh, we kept building on that. You know? Yeah, that was supposed building to be rooms, it. and there was like a kitchen. Yeah, that was supposed to be like this grand mansion that we would just keep adding on and on and on. But my God, that was one of the most resource-intensive projects we've ever worked on. Yeah, I think we spent days of just mining, like chopping down trees to just build it, and then. Uh, there was a time and we almost ran out of trees. You know, we had to travel like really yeah, far away. Actually, yeah, didn't we work on this during one of the winter vacations, actually? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. <clears throat> because I remember we would almost play Ark every night just working on that house. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, and, 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 and then we... Well, I remember... Um, in terms of the animal capture mechanic, we we had our usual dodos. I think one of the first big things we got was like a one of the turtles. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. Was that giant turtles? Enemies? I think it was. Yeah, my that name. was that was uh, that was one of. Thing. I think the first big animal we ever caught was a spinosaurus. A spinosaurus. We saw it while adventuring a little, and I'm like, "Hey, let's try to capture this because we got track arrows, and it actually worked." Yeah. Um. So we na- so um we named it Ray <laughs> because it was OP as uh, fuck. <laughs> OP as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Also, like all of our animals were for like you know pop culture shit right yeah i, I think you named we had a dodo it. named palpatine i remember yeah, I named, actually named... actually did you have a dodo named after black panther uh t'challa yeah <laughs> yeah you did you had remember uh we'll get the kaori oh we'll, we'll get the oh, kaori oh you fucking bitch <laughs> Well, we'll get there. Oh, God oh yeah. Me. No, I think the best. I think I, I think my favorite part about this is auto. You get to actually hear the shit that happened while you were on vacation. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> oh my um, God. Everything went wrong. Wait, 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 wait. I, I really do want to talk about our fishing trip, David. Yeah, we gotta get Which to the fishing. Ones? Remember the, the swamp okay, trip? Okay. I, I think it was like the very. There first... were a couple. There were a couple. Well, well yeah. let's talk about the swamp trip because, no, like, no, no, the, no, no. I, the I, reason I, I really want to talk about this one fishing trip, though. <laughs> Which one? What is it? Uh, Say okay, it. I, I'll tell you guys it, and maybe it'll jog David's memory. Because, ah, it was so funny. So, I remember um, quite a few of them. It's just like which specific one. I think it was our about? very first one. <laughs> but basically, um, I think you just acquired a, another raft. Either it was Otto's raft or you made your own. And, you know, I decided let's go catch some more fish. And you agreed to take me on the boat and drive around. So, uh, you know, get on the boat, uh, drive a bit. And every now and then I'd tell you to stop and I would just jump off overboard to see if I could find any uh, coelacanths. 
So we did this for like I think three minutes. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's oh, like I oh, jumping I I off, this. looking for fish, and oh, then, and then the last, <laughs> the last time, jump off, look into the water. And there is mm. just this big fuck off face looking right back at me. <laughs> it was like, okay, let's see if there's that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and what? Well, it was so fucking Lee sixty. <laughs> and then I, I remember. I was freaking out because uh, when it attacked, I was in its way, and the boat was right behind me. So I took. A, a little bit of the damage, and then I just see David like fly off with the boat, with the <laughs> constantly jumping on his ass, and I was like, "Well, this is how I die. <laughs> this is how yeah, I we, die we, we for fear the the deep waters." <laughs> anyway, it, like I got onto like a random rock in the middle of the ocean until finally, I either I swam back or one of you picked me up in another raft. But yeah, Loki. I, I think you died. No, no, no. I, I remember. I survived. I survived with the nick <laughs> from the skin of my teeth. But oh uh, my God. yeah, yeah. It's like uh, I know why David freaked out and ran away because you made it apparent that the raft took a lot of resources and you kind of treat uh, treated it like your baby and. You know, that was fun. I mean, like, you know, damn. it's a boat. It's more of a I mean, I mean, it should also be mentioned that that was because we had beds on there and stuff. It was our main way to get to different parts of the island. Yeah, yeah. If we lost it, it would have taken forever to make it again. Mm. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and the thing, and these, the, you know what's funny? You say I escaped. I, I thought it destroyed the raft. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. Didn't it destroy it? Because I... I remember there was a day where we were playing, and I swear the first time we, we found the lazy thieves, this is how I remember it, okay? Because mm -hmm. I remember I was in the pa driver's seat, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly I wasn't. I was in the <laughs> <ocean>. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's like, I don't remember that. And it was one of the... We never... I don't think we ever lost one of the big ones like that. It was a simple rap. Yeah, it was just the raft mm. and, you know, a couple of amenities, like a cut, uh, cabin, a cabinet, bonfire, and a bed. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I remember, because, like, the open ocean is one of my big fears. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa, also... it just made it a whole lot worse. <laughs> Even in, like, games and stuff, if there's an open ocean, I don't like being there. <laughs> Spore intensifies. I, I want to talk a bit about our 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 fishing trip, our uh, our ride on the uh, big right. boat through the swamp. So that the, for whatever reason, fish. to traverse. Okay, so for whatever reason to traverse the island, we decided we were going to go through the, some of the river channels with a boat, yeah. right? Because yeah. we, we most to get of these the river channels, channel, right? Go, I think, but most regardless, yeah. most of these river channels went through a s swamp. Yeah, where. Many players and mostly the FPS went to die. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's like you gotta keep. So we prepared for this. We built. We didn't just make a raft. We made like a battle cruiser. This thing was like decked out in stone walls, and you know it was it was armed to the teeth, and it, we, it was really well designed. And we were very proud of it. We yeah. spent a long time building it. And I remember, yeah, we, yeah. I remember why we had to go. Uh, we wanted to get to the volcano because David. It was either David or me. We wanted to make something, but we needed crystal. Crystal yeah. was really rare throughout the island, but it was heavily prevalent in the island's volcano. Yeah, and I figured the only way to get to that volcano because there was a lot of forest between us and the volcano, and I thought, you know what? Let's uh, let's take the river. We'll just cruise on over. It's right there. It's right by it. Uh, mm. And if we die, we have a we have two beds right there because the <laughs> boat we made actually came with like two beds. Yeah, yeah two beds, a cooler, <laughs> uh, yeah, a bonfire, and for some reason we had like two chairs 
on the ceiling. <laughs> yes, yes, and that was I remember when we finally set off on this journey. We were sailing through. We were sitting on the me. I think it was me and Dave. We were sitting on the ceiling on those two chairs, just enjoying. And there was this moment of like you know self. We were patting ourselves on the back for back for building this peaceful. incredible boat. And we felt like you know what, guys, we're doing it right. I mean, in this bowl, we should be we, we should be safe from any harm. All those creatures that were like destroying our raft, they really cannot harm us anymore. We're fine. We act we're geniuses. Yeah. We're all fine. We're geniuses. And then, <laughs> and then, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I just want to add. I remember this so distinctly. I mm. remember saying, "Man, this is really nice." It's like the beginning of a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. It, oh, oh no. my god. Oh, sometimes I feel like you're a prophet. Well, <laughs> so here's the it, 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 it was going smooth sailing. But then what happened was when you get to the swim, there's a lot of trees and the boat can't go through. So we're like, okay, you know, simple fix. We'll just cut down the trees that are in front of the boat and then, you know, get back on it. You know, simple problem, a simple solution. However, there were gigantic titana boars, crocodiles, bugs, and other creatures all over the place swarming. And they would get inside the boat, get around, and then they would kill us like instantly. And it was it was becoming pretty dangerous. Like, holy shit, this is actually pretty bad. And then and we're trying to get to the boat, but then we have no way of escaping now because the boat was stuck and it was being clipped by all those trees and everything. And then keep in mind we, we we were relying on i think rahul's understanding of the map and his sense of direction to navigate because i don't think we had a compass or anything at the time or a proper map something like that. i don't think we fully knew where we were in the map and how to get across and all that stuff right at, at a point when all these creatures sort of swarming in and just just killing us bit by bit and it was such a nightmarish scenario such a hopeless I, yeah i remember when it all truly went wrong though yeah one of the snakes made it in through the very tiny door yeah! and glitched its way inside <laughs> and, and they have like a sleep poison <laughs> Yes! Yeah. They, they would paralyze us! It was awful! And then <laughs> this and then we and then it was getting dark. I think Rahul died. We, I mean, we would like try to like make our way back to the boat on foot yeah. and try to like actually, get back to the boat. This is what happened. This is what happened. This is what happened. And, uh, we spawned on the boat so many times that the beds timed out. So we had to wait a couple of minutes or hours before we could spawn back. So we had no choice to spawn back to the beds in our home. And then we had to walk back through <laughs> that hell just to get the boat back. And keep and keep keep in mind, like, and, and I'll never forget what David was saying. We kept fighting for the boat. It was dark. It was miserable. <laughs> and then David, I forgot what you said. He was saying his- like, you were so pissed off. You were so angry with the devil. You were so angry with, with life. You were like, I hate this. I'm not having fun. It's dark. It's cold. Um, I'm in pain. We're starving. We're just I should mention, for a solid half hour, my screen is black and flashing red from whenever I'm getting hit. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just this audio just... this was i came and then i think at a a point we just gave up on the boat no on that server that boat was still there yes no no wait wait wait. i remember one of us went and got it back actually one of us actually got it back i I forget who it was either david or otto I think later on. I, no, I think we all did. I think we all decided we were gonna get the thing back. Yeah. We armed up. You, David, yeah, we, we were all through the heat. Yeah, we came in ready for war, and we managed. I think we later got that boat back, and we 
got it out of there. But oh my god, that first trip was a nightmare. Yeah, it could not have gone any worse. And that was like, we were so proud of that boat. We were so proud of our plan, and we <laughs> could not have been any more wrong. And then, oh my god, like, it was either that same session or the next session. I was like, well, call me Donald Trump because I'm gonna build a wall around this cursed place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, oh, my God. oh my God! One thing I loved about the game is that uh, you know, it, it, that there was a genuine sense of adventure that yeah. came from it. Like yeah. a lot of games, like you know, okay. it's like playing D and D now. Yeah, exactly. Because even even not so much because even in D and D you have a lot of you know things to hold your hand a little bit, right? But yeah. here, yeah. That, you don't have that much protection. It's, it feels more like real. You're going into the unknown. There's a lot of you know creatures and monsters that can eat you and kill you in an instant like you better be ready and even if you're ready you don't even if you think you're ready you may not be ready yeah. you know yeah and because and it, because it's not scripted or pre-programmed and all that stuff it felt a bit more you know organic the sense of adventure and um, i liked it how we were motivated to do it because we wanted to get these special you know uh, minerals or whatever, like, you know, crystals. crafting item, yeah, crystals, crafting items, whatever you call it, to build you know, onto our, you know, you know, our base and everything, and, like, like I really enjoyed that aspect, you know, we yeah. genuinely want to go out, it was not like we were forced to, we genuinely want to do it just for our own purposes, and we did everything we can to prepare for it, and it didn't work out, and the, the game punished us, but it was awesome. You know, and it was yeah, fun. It was, fun. It was miserable. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> but it was miserable in a very fun way. Yeah. Big bony this, this, fish go. I mean, that's, that was really that's really our initial experience with it, and then I would like to get to now. So we play like this. We're building shit, capturing dinosaurs. Sometimes we try to try new things, go new places. I think one of the last things we probably did on this map, where we tried to close a snow area on that map. Mm. And so I was camped there. I remember we just kept on getting killed by like oh, wait, hyenas no, no, or some no. shit. Yeah, some bullshit. Think, wait, hold up. I don't think the island had a snow area. I think that was right. No, no, it did. Yep. Did I think it? it was. No, it did. It had a mountain. Yeah, yeah. It had a little bit of snow. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. That's on the heart. Like very distant. I think we tried to go there. We dogs, and there would be like 20 dogs, and we could kill them. Oh, wait, no. That was definitely on Ragnarok, though. Like, uh, I remember when we did end up going to a mountain, and yeah. we actually had pterosaurs, but they got fucking killed. Tyrannodons, wasn't it? That? Yeah, we had pteranodons, but they got killed by Argentavises. Yeah, that's the thing, even, okay. And we, then we, we captured the Argentavis. Yeah, I remember when we both to death. <laughs> I, I remember, because, like, I, I remember we, we, because the boat idea didn't work, we thought, okay, instead of sailing, how about we fly? Um, even flying was not easy at all. And then I remember when we finally got to that place, we almost got trapped. Remember? Yeah, yeah, we were almost. Yeah, it, it was, yeah and we, we, we got, we were like, oh, we're screwed. And so we had all these crystals, but no means of getting it back safely. And then there was a T-Rex. We had like a mini hut built somewhere and then a T-Rex oh took over. God, oh, oh. Yeah. oh, that actually kind of reminds me of my failed suicide run. Like, I was yeah. throwing the T-Rex away, but somehow I survived. <laughs> like, yes, I was in the worst condition. I was starving. I was over-encumbered. I had a broken leg. There was a T-Rex that was literally two feet away from me, and somehow I survived that. How? I have no idea. I also liked how we like an effective strat, strat in this game was well, so to pick one of you, you essentially draw straws, the shortest straw, that person has to strip naked, give all their belongings to their friends, and then <laughs> grab the attention of the T-Rex and the deadly creature, and oh, run away as oh, fast oh. as you can, yeah? You said, you said pick straws, it was always raw hole. <laughs> it was always raw hole. Well, I mean, what else was he good for? He still could <laughs> We never had fish ever again. <laughs> we never had fish. We had too much thatch. We were getting sick of it. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm joking. No, you, you great. We but decided like, to burn meat. Why we to tried me. to burn meat to cook meat. <laughs> That's oh, what man. I mean. We were just, even in the funniest way of screwing each other over too, you know? Yeah. 
But I, I was saying, um, so it was like that for a while, and then Auto, go, I, I was the admin for this, and I kept, all I changed was, I think I put the food and hunger, the, the hunger and water down a bit. Yeah. Um, because so. that was just because, like, after all the building stuff was just getting annoying. Um, and then I turned up the. Obviously, we learned how to turn up the tether distance to almost infinite. Yeah. Thank that uh, was it. Thank Melinda for that. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> then, Auto goes on vacation for a few months, and raw. I'm actually I was gone too for like I think a weekend or something. Yeah. Um, I come back. No, no, no. I remember I was on the my trip to Ecuador for a month. I come back as auto leaves, cause auto right after that, right after I came back, you went on vacation to somewhere, right? Yeah, Sri Lanka. I was on, yeah, so I was on broad form. You were on vacation. Um, Raw was like, "Hey, I, I have my own server," and and I did some things. I'm like, "What thing? Take it away, Raw." I honestly cannot remember. Oh, wait. Is oh, this I, when we, okay, uh, I remember. This is the Ragnarok. Oh, okay, yeah. This is when we did Ragnarok. <laughs> yeah, uh, I remember. Melinda actually came to me uh, wanting to play uh, uh, Ark. And I think we were on the island. But... Yeah. Yeah. Like, I suddenly had an epiphany one day. It's like, wait a minute. Are, wasn't there supposed to be, like, dragons in this? It should be noted, we both, we all have the season pass, so we have all the DLC. Yeah, the Ragnarok but, was free map anyway. Yeah, yeah, but like, you know, it's like, wait a minute, it's, so, I did a little digging, found Ragnarok, started a new server there, made sure that we had, like, uh, all the stat boosts and whatnot, so, you know, we- Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 I was talking about, like, this... tether distance and, you know, hunger and- and oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so me and Melinda started on this new map, and oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Tough times. Uh, but it was actually really fun. Like, yeah. Yeah, but when, okay, I. Uh, no, you finish? Because. Oh, no, you go. You go. My, because here's the thing when I finally got back from my thing, and start playing, you, it wasn't just the tether distance that you had changed. By then, you had turned, Rahul here turned every single boost he could up to maximum. <laughs> you, we, I could, I spawned into a game where I could pick up a stone and have 27. First of all, um, I would have like 27. Seven stones in my inventory for pick up one, and suddenly I was level twenty, like like twenty one. Yes. I pick up another stone. I'm level forty. <laughs> yeah. I put, I I'd up I up my health, which usually goes up by like what was it five ten? It go up by thirty in one <laughs> thing. You're welcome. I'm like what? <laughs> this man had blasted all the stats off. It wasn't survival. <laughs> wasn't anymore. <laughs> no, now the game needs to survive us. Yeah, and they had a like I, I I meet up with them in the world. They have a small cave and a collection of like all like I guess of rexes, pterosaurs down there. Um, well, of, and of course, with all these stab boosts, I decide I'm gonna try something different, and I started building another house. Yes. Um, but, yeah, for, so, for months, we kind of played just, like, on this, we were literally just, like, did whatever we want, really. Um, we went and captured Rexes and had, like, an army of dinosaurs. Yeah. We'd go out with the you. We go out with the dinosaurs and kill them. You also blast up any dinosaur stats we own, think so they would never die. Yeah. In theory, they would never die. <laughs> um, Actually, were you there when uh, when we raided the Wyvern Cave for the first time, like the very, very first time? 
I don't think so. I think I was there for the second time. Yeah, so... There was Wyvern, so we tried to get a few of those. Um, yeah. I think I was I think I think was there when you first succeeded in getting a Wyvern. Uh, actually, no. Like, I remember me and Melinda, we got two eggs on our own. Sadly, they died. Yeah. Due to circumstances. But I remember we had this super elaborate plan to tame... A bunch of Argentavises and have them as cannon fodder and distractions to the wyverns. So one of us can sneak in under, take the eggs while the parents are distracted, and then butter on out. Because there were like two entrances to one of the wyvern nest locations. Yeah. Um, I don't remember too a, a lot about this period of time. I know we had a glitch. Where when the dinosaur would enter the water, they would go at like five thousand miles per hour, fly off and die. <laughs> yeah, it died from uh, from uh, the fall damage because it went so fast. <coughs> as soon as it hit the, uh, the bank, just launches up into the air and then dies on impact. Yep. I remember there was us looking for an ice wyvern egg, which is like one of the rarest wyverns to get. Yeah. It's... Um. We had a collection of the dragons eventually. Yeah, um, and then I remember. So so so, the two two big things I remember. I remember we went to the desert area. There was a giganosaur. We tried forever to kill it. It just wouldn't die. Actually, didn't we try to tame it? No, I don't think or we could. I took too much. Yeah, I can't. I don't remember saying so how. But the big thing, first of all, remember your. You were very close to your bird. Oh, oh, okay. Like, a little uh, bit of context here is needed, but basically, um... So, when we tried to raid the wyverns, um... We actually didn't lose any of the Argentavises. Probably due to the stat boost we gave them. No, no, definitely due to the stat boost we gave <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, probably. And, you know, I was pretty crude about it. I was pretty cynical. Like, I called them cannon fodder. Like, cannon fodder number one, cannon fodder number two. Um, but, you know, they kind of became an asset. And, you know, I picked one out. It was a female. So I called it Kaori. Because during that time, I was actually watching uh, an anime called Your Lie in April. And one of the main protagonists, her name is Kaori. Uh, slight spoiler, she dies in the end. So it's like, ah, you are reborn. <laughs> you <laughs> like a phoenix from the ashes, which is kind of ironic because there are legit phoenixes in the game. But anyway, so like Kaori became like my number one companion, my plus one. Uh, like everywhere I went, like she was my main uh, motive of transportation. Uh, she was my defender because her stats were getting so high. It got to the point where she could, like, easily one-shot practically anything on the island. Uh, with the exception of the Giganotosaurus, holy shit. Actually, we almost lost her, because... No! Wait! We were trying to tame it! I remember now! Oh. Because, yeah, you suggested that I use Kaori to carry you, and you try to hit the Giga with Trank darts... But some of those darts hit Kaori, and then she fell asleep. Oh, and then, yeah. And then I became so angry and so scared that I might lose my bird. <laughs> Thankfully, she, like, came back from it. And, uh, yeah, that, that was, uh... Oh. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I guess we get the beginning of the end, because... So we were looking for dragon eggs, um, and... Actually, before we get to that, uh, I feel like we've been neglecting Melinda just a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's all good, don't worry. Yeah, but, like, dude, please, share any moments that you may have had, uh, any good moments in ARC. Good moments. A lot, actually, I would say. Yeah. Um, but, uh... Funny enough, your whole that whole um, um, uh, server that you started Rahul with all the stat boosts for me it felt like the beginning of the end because oh, uh, I'm gonna get to that yeah because when as soon as you I came back and you guys showed me 
that server, I was so turned off because I'm like, if you're going to like jack up the stats like all the way up and you're going to like, we're going to have all these, because you guys had like a, a whole slew of pets, yeah. like, like dinosaurs and all that stuff and dragons and all that stuff, right? And I'm like, where's the fun in this? You know, because like for me, at least the, the part of the enjoyment was the challenge the game had. And without the challenge, I felt like, I just I just don't want to play the game. Like I mean, there's no reward for getting a dinosaur if we didn't have to, you know, really struggle for it. You know, like sure. just everything we build, we had to struggle for it. So without it, it's just it, it just like it just didn't. I, I didn't feel the need to it, right? So I was yeah. not interested in playing that server, right? But however, that server, even though we did go back to normal servers, it having the stats be boosted and all that stuff gave us the funny idea that, hey, maybe we can start another server where the stats are only slightly adjusted to give us a, a fair challenge, but, you know, you know, maybe give, like, the, maybe, the, maybe a little bit less, you know, annoying. I think, I, well, the only thing I remember that I did afterwards was I turned the water and food down. Yeah. yeah. That I feel... Also, is... I had come, I had come to detest that mechanic, because... Uh, it kind of became like what like there is a fun in the challenge and stuff right mm -hmm. but what's the fun in the game literally like almost whining to you to like interrupt what you're doing to be like I'm hungry I'm thirsty yeah. God. like that is just kind of like, like that's a mechanic that was like alright like, like I could do it yeah uh, yeah, it's one of those immersion mechanics that is that sounds great in concept, but over time just becomes a nuisance. It it will. I I agree with you on that. And I never even turned it off. Yeah. So, but but what also happened was later on when we saw like we always had issues with the game stability and all that stuff. But then we it got worse after did it not. Yeah, we'll get to that soon. Let's get to let's so, here's the, so here's the irony of that. So I should mention. Let me continue because when it comes to stability, I I feel like I should talk about yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, you got the bad end of the stick, my dude. Yeah. Um. So here's the thing. The game was always relatively unstable, right? But here's the thing. For for a while, it was completely fine. Um. And Arnold, even when you came back, you played it less, but it was still fine. Now, granted, we just stopped sort of playing it less, as, you know, I think we were getting into... I mean, I think at the time, we were kind of getting into other stuff. Yeah. Uh, in general, right? Like, new game, obviously games, but we have less time because school's getting more hard. And I think uh, this was... I think maybe we started playing Total War Arena, too. Mm. Yeah. But here's the irony. Um... I remember the, the the day it became unstable was ironically what we wanted to do was with, with our dragons we didn't even want to upload them onto a different server we just wanted to upload them basically in arcs equivalent of the cloud right yeah. mm -hmm. so you just have creatures there and leave them but the game kept crashing every time we tried to bring the dragon into a central area mm -hmm. um so that wasn't really working. And now and this is when I think everything really went wrong in terms of my stability. Like I said, the occasional crash, it happens in ARC. I think it crashes in ARC after a couple hours of play, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But one day, Rahul, it was like near my birthday or something, and Rahul decides to get me a gift. Um, that being the season pass, which came with all the DLC maps, right? Yeah. In my head, this was actually great because Otto, you remember, I, I I kept it. I always had it in mind when you said you didn't like the stat boost, right? Mm. And I'm like, okay, I got the DLC now. We could do a new interesting map. We'll have no stat boost. We'll do it. We'll we can start fresh and do everything properly and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But then, I was testing out. I was testing out the maps and stuff. I think we even started one, and then one day I crash, as usual, right? Yeah. I log into the game, and after a short amount of time that I play it, I crash again. Okay, maybe it's weird. Alright, I crash twice. It happens, right? Mm-hmm. I log in again. I played. 
shorter amount of length than that time crashed again and it kept incrementally crashing sooner and sooner after every time I'd log in until yeah. I couldn't log in. I would press play, load the map, and it crash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that was the end because I uninstalled, I did everything I could, I troubleshooted it, I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, and it just kept happening. And then I was often a server admin, and you guys rarely played without yeah. A few months later, I remember we tried again. Um, I think it was even earlier this year, yeah. and it was working well for a while, and then crashed. I'm like, oh no! I was worried. I'm like, okay, maybe it's a one-time thing. The same thing happened again. And honestly, the main issue now, they did a recent update, and I can't fit it on my computer anymore. Yeah. yeah. Uh, th that I think we crux of the issue with the game was that it was never finished. And it's like the game developers did not even care to finish it. Like, what was up with Because I remember at its peak where Ark was getting really popular and still plagued with so many bugs and glitches and it just not working, the file sizes are too huge and everything was just a disaster, they kept pumping out new DLCs. Is yeah. it Hold on, what are you doing with these DLCs? Fix the base game first. And I remember, like, following along, and they would be, like, saying, oh, no, we're allocating, you know, uh, some, re you know, all our resources to fixing the game. It's like, no, you're not. You're making, you know, you're making DLCs. You're not fixing these issues. And the, the issues were never addressed. They were never fixed. It just, it was never a finished game. Yeah. You know? And, like, yeah, the file sources were crazy, but, like, the... Um, oh, we'll get to like, the everything files. else, I mean, like... I mean, like, I mean, like, the game was, like, what, 200 gigs, something like that at one point? Yep. It, it, yeah. No, it is, it's at now. I just took a look. Yeah. Because I was like, how much space is this thing? So, because I, I didn't update it in, in a while, so I literally just uninstalled it. Yeah. Just to see how much it is. And it has 200 gigs. Like, I have 140 left. I, I do use, like, a notebook, right? Hmm. And it, it, it's a pretty high quality, like, it's a pretty expensive, high quality notebook. But it's still a notebook, right? But the funny yeah. thing is, I can play a lot of other games. I That's the yeah. Isle. The Isle's massive. Exactly. And it's just, like, it's just not worth it, you know? I mean, like, like why not? Because this game had so much potential. If it, if it ran properly... Wouldn't you guys agree we'd still be playing it? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Exactly. We'd be playing that instead of doing this podcast. Exactly. Yeah. And actually, yeah, I feel like this podcast would have a lot, a completely different context to it because, you know, it's like the game podcast we've done before, we kind of like talked about the history of the game, but here we're just talking about our own personal experiences and yeah. the bug problems because that's all there is. Like, exactly. Yeah, everything else is perfect. You know, the yeah. graphics, the gameplay, um, you know, everything else. Just the experience is amazing, yeah. but you know, all these issues that kind of they kind of brought down the whole yeah. perspective of the game. And, and it, it's it's like it, it's frustrating because yeah. you wanna play the game, yeah. but half the time you're spending fighting the game to get it to work. Yep. But, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, and at one point, I remember we, we literally spent 30 minutes just trying to get into the server because yeah. it kept kicking us out, right? Because the, I think the maximum per people that can be in a group at that time was like four people, which we didn't know at the time, right? So we were just trying to get in. Um, as soon as somebody gets in, somebody else gets kicked out or the yeah. server just crashes completely. Mm. You know, it was, it was kind of chaos. It, one issue I had is like, why was this game like so against the players sometimes you know it's like they they would cap like how many players can play at the same time which is annoying why 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 do you have to do that for a local um you know server and then they would also like you know make the file sources huge they would never fix any of the bugs and they, they would just keep having this unstable game or keep trying to make milk as much money out of us by putting out more dlcs to a game that's not even finished and yeah. they keep doing these tactics that just like why? What are you doing? Like, it's not... Like, you're... It's like, are you trying to make us not play? Like, I mean, for example, like David just said, he doesn't have the space anymore. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I, I also uninstalled the game 
uh, out of necessity. Like I am working on animations, school projects, each one of them like allocating to almost uh, 50 megabytes to almost 10 gigabytes sometimes. And yeah. you know, it's like that 200 gigabytes of space you're taking up, Ark. Mm, sorry, bud. It's uninstalled. It's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, at least if they fix the mistakes and fix all the problems, then yeah. I would understand. But no, they, they just kept on adding problems on top of it. And yeah. what they did worse is that they just kept expanding the maps and um, all those DLCs. Yeah. They didn't really fix anything aside from Actually, that. Actually, yeah, exactly. did you guys hear about uh, apparently one of the top players for ARK, uh, he like exposed a problem. There was like a hole in the, in the mesh in the map. And if you go through that hole, you could actually float around behind the, not only behind the walls, but you could just float around in Ark. And um, I think the company just shut him up and banned him from the game. Bruh. That's what they do. They, you know, <laughs> yeah. if somebody tries to speak up, they kind of just kick you out of the game. Yeah. And this isn't the first time either. It's like, I remember they had like an yeah. open letter. Talking about how people aren't understanding how ARC works or something like that? I, I don't know, it's like... Yeah, I think a lot of people just gave up on this game after a while. Because like, it was just too much to do it. This game doesn't need optimization. I should probably tell you guys, every time I get like a crash report from the game, there's like a full sentence for like the one file that had the problem. It's like, okay, well, oh my god, what the hell? Where'd... If if you're going, and that's, if, and that's like, on, if the problem that's file is like white. in a continuous sentence, then yeah, maybe you should optimize your game. And then um, that's on top of like just you can find people talking about balancing issues. Yeah. Um, stuff like this, you know, basic mechanics. It's just mm. well, Honestly, I I do want to see, like I said, Ark had something that a lot of other games did not. You know, I'm, I was playing Subnautica a while ago, you know, very similar. It's kind of survival, but, you know, you kind of surviving. You had to build all this, you know, you know, stuff and, you know, crafting and, yeah. you know, yeah. all that stuff. Right? But it's more based on, like, underwater. Yeah. Um, cool game, super stable, graphics, everything's great. Only problem is single player, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's you like, know the funny thing? I'm you know I'm surprised because I saw the I saw that video a while back from Internet Historian, the good ending of this guy. Um, I should really send it to you. Get no, I've shown it to Rahul, I'm sure. But did yeah. I ever send that to you, Otto? What? It's a video. Uh, so you know, you know Internet Historian. I've shown you his videos, right? Yeah. He, yeah, he covered a bunch of weird stuff. Mm -hmm. He did a video on No Man's like recently mm -hmm. and he talked about like how what the game like like obviously the full history and the full context of the history right how mm -hmm. at this point everyone blah 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 but he also talked about what they've done like since because mm -hmm. a lot of people are like oh the game's good now right mm -hmm. um it's not just a case of all oh, functionality wise it's good now um it has, like, all those kind of survival, like, open-world features now. Like, it has multiplayer for one now. Oh. Um, it has, you know, it's not just base building. It's, like, city building. And they added, they, like, and it's basically because they keep all the DLCs been free. And they mm -hmm. just kept pumping in things. Like, the, like, first it was, like, vehicles and stuff. Now, I said, there's base building. It's, like, all, they revamped the storyline. Like, I'll send you the video, mm -hmm. and you should watch the full thing. But it seems like something to be interested in. Like, people it, really it, like it now. What's the game called again? No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Oh. It's, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's... But that it, was the case of, like, obviously the, it has, like... Quick question, does stuff. No Man's Sky, can you, like, uh, build stuff? Like, you know, like, huts and I just all said that? you could build a fucking city. Oh. <laughs> Actually, Sorry, I was... one more thing about like <laughs> <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> one more thing about Ark's uh, ins uh, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Like stability? Yeah, yeah. another word about it, stability. Um, you expect all these issues to be in the PC version because, you know, there's more trial for error, maybe files can easily get corrupted, uh, mainly because uh, those files are also exposed to your other files. Mm -hmm. uh, and as all of you may know, Arc is also available on console, so you'd imagine it'd be better there, right? Mm -hmm. no! Uh, no! No! Yeah. <laughs> Along with the servers <laughs> being practically dead. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, like... I've also seen some gameplay footage where you see literal black holes on the screen. Uh, dinosaurs just glitching out and not behaving the way they're supposed to. Uh, yeah, it's, the game's a mess, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's time of relevancy has long passed. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a yeah. Like, I think it's fair to call it a stubborn tragedy. They could easily fix it. They can easily avoid all these issues yep. and complaints, but the devs are just I, I, so hell bent on those DLCs. It's... Also, like I, I've heard, I've seen some people say it, it's almost like they're hell bent on just. It's like they're so determined not to fix anything. Yeah, it's. I actually, that's a meme. That is a meme within the community. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It, it's yeah. Really, it's That's sad. the thing, you know, it's, uh, it's unfortunate because this game had so much um, promise, it had so much potential, and, you know, we still love the core of the game. The core of the game was amazing. And like I said before, it was, for me, a dream come true. Yeah. And... I very much enjoyed, you know, all the things that we did, you know, like spending so much time building on this new project yeah. or finding new ways to explore. You know, we, I remember, remember one time we go around, do like, we would circle around the entire island on our boat and we would go to different biomes or whatever and build a hut there for a base. Yeah. So like, so, yeah, and then we do all these cool things and we try to like make bases inwards too and then so we can have like, Fast access to various different resources yeah. and all. I enjoyed all the stuff, the experience. Actually, yeah, me and Melinda did that on uh, Ragnarok, remember? Yeah. 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 We went all throughout the whole Ragnarok map and then we kind of discovered these different areas. So some were like a desert, yeah. some were it was snowing. Um, and we kind of made bases everywhere we went. And then we kind of explored every area because, you know, we wanted to explore other, like, we wanted to kind of invite other people as well. But yeah, it just kind of um, disappointing. Yeah, remember, the swamp there was so much worse than the swamp in the island. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like twice as big and three times as dangerous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't want to imagine that. Yeah, and and we had like so many issues to the point where we had to actually like change the settings because it was that chaotic. Yeah. Um, so we had to change like our characters' strengths characters you know the water drain and all of that uh, stuff just to survive for like 15 minutes yeah because the moment you on in it there's like a t-rex right next to you or <laughs> you're just yeah, like dying yeah, out it's... so it's crazy um but yeah it's you know it, it's so frustrating to say these nice things while also we're, like i always think about going back i would love to do uh just to reinstall the game and go back. But the way that it is, I, I can't because I don't want to spend half a session fighting the game itself. Uh, because I remember back in the uh, Halo days, we'd randomly crash every now and then. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So, and, and you know, you try to rejoin, but it won't allow you. And then it got to the point where the oh, yeah, admin... It would take, like, forever to... Yeah, and not only that, but, like, the admin would have to, like, restart the entire game just to get that one person in, which always made me feel really shitty about... Yeah, um, yeah that was the other thing. I, I, I forgot, like, remember how even when you, you know, someone didn't drop, remember how long it takes for someone to join in? Yeah. Yeah. It's, and it's always yeah. so 
anxious because you're thinking, <laughs> oh, God, am I going to get in? Do I need to restart the game? Do I need to verify yeah. my files again? Yeah, exactly. And it doesn't even matter if you have a really good computer or not because, like, the game itself, when you load in, you think, okay, I'm going to get in. And the next moment, you know, you just crash out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah actually, and, you know, Yeah, exactly. Go ahead, Rahul. I don't know. I was just going to say, like... Uh... I know you definitely have a more dynamic experience with the game because you actually have two setups. You have your laptop and your gaming PC. Uh, out of yeah. curiosity, would you say the game crashed less on one of them or crashed the exact uh, same amount? I think it crashed more on the laptop, um, but that's just my experience. But it could be different on other people. Like on the computer, it was fine, but at the same time, I didn't play enough on the computer, so... Um, right. You know, yeah. Because if I played my by myself without like joining a server, or you know just by myself, it's completely fine on both ends, right? Right. Um, but when I, especially when I tried to join like your group, um, it just kind of randomly kicks me out. The game crashes. So I think it's heavily based on like the group, um, you know, the group kind of gaming. Yeah. It does feel, yeah, it does feel like, you know, if the slightest thing were to happen, Art just gets real mad and then just boots everyone out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's uh, just disappointing, really. Yeah. I loved how this conversation, like, just started with such beaming energy. <laughs> like, talking about, like, our best moments, our funniest moments, and our scariest moments yeah. on this game. But and you know what the craziest and the saddest thing is? Because, like, when I played this game, right, I got so into it that I started doing research. You know, I started to, like, look yeah. up on every every tutorial. Like, go on YouTube, you know, watch these best, you know, best taming yeah. dinosaurs, best weapons, best all of those stuff. And, you know, I spent countless hours just trying to make myself better, right? Yeah. And looking back now, it's just like, uh, what did I do this? <laughs> you know, it's amazing because it's, like, when it comes to dinosaur games, it's usually me or David who says, "Hey, let's let's hop on this game and play." But like you, <laughs> my boy Melinda, you replaced me. <laughs> Congratulations! I crowned. Yeah, you because like at first, you know, because I, I never even heard of Ark before, right? Yeah. So when you kind of first introduced me to, it, I was like, "Yeah, a dinosaur game I've never played, so I'm just gonna give it a try." And then I just like. It just blew my mind, you know, everything that it does, the free world, the graphics, the animations, all these storylines, the, you know, all those mm -hmm. stuff. But then, you know, as, as time went on, more problems approached us. So yeah. it's, it's kind of sad and heartbreaking, really. Yeah. Uh, it, it, does anyone else want to say anything else? I'm sad now. <laughs> yeah, I'm depressed. Now. I mean, you know, it's like here's the thing. Like, I think, uh, I think we touched on all the things about Arc. You know, like I mean, in terms of its positives, in terms of like how you know, not I don't want to say unique in the sense that I don't want the game like it, but it was unique in the sense it did a lot of in the core of it did a lot of things correctly. You know, I don't know. I know we're talking about Man's Sky now and thing. You know, but like. Um, that's a good example of a game that was a disaster at launch, complete mess, and the developers took time to, mm. you know, fix it bit by bit and delivering in all the promises and more to the fans that bought into it. And I don't even know if they released any DLCs and any of that stuff. And I didn't even hear about this game until recently when I found it was good again. You know? Yeah. So to be fair, like. It, it was his it was more a case of here's the thing people were saying oh it's good now but for a lot of there's a lot of games that come out these days where it's like they come out broken or incomplete and then they're patched later right so when yeah. we hear that when people say oh it's good now it's usually oh like oh they got rid of all the bugs maybe or they added it content right yeah whereas no man's sky when people say it's good now it's like a completely different experience like game yeah and, and that's the thing, you know, it's like developers, like, that's one of the biggest crimes that I feel like the developers of Ark never did. Like, they they actively ignored the fans' cries to, please fix this game, and they kept trying to do other projects, and mm -hmm. putting this aside, they acted like, I mean, yes, the game came out almost as a beta test, 
But then when they officially pub- released it, it was still like a beta test. It was still buggy and glitchy. And and they never fixed it. They never went back. They never mm-hmm. fixed the core game. Yeah, I, I like, mean, I, I really want to check it out again, but I'm just so yeah. scared and kind of, I feel like I'll be more disappointed in the game and, you know, heart, right. more heartbroken because, you know, exactly. I, I don't know what to expect from it now. Yeah. Yeah. And the, you it's know, also, yeah, it's also like, um, I think they were a bit high off their bridges because at the time, um, early access games, they almost never really went well. It was, mo- it was either just, Copy paste, uh, copy paste asset flips, or like ones that had promise would kind of be aban- abandoned, or they were straight up scam, like just literal scams, right? Yeah. Arc was one of the few early access games that like came out and did well, and people liked it in that say, like, yeah, sure, they were like, oh yeah, the stable will get better, but like, said the core mechanics won them over, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, so I think maybe they got a little high off like. They, they were on, there was a time where like Ark was being shown at E3, remember? Yeah. Ark was getting E3 shows. It was what it was at the table. Yeah. And I but I mean they, you know, so was No Man's and you know another game that we could like and I use No Man but you also you also remember No Man No Man's Sky was also picked up by PlayStation so, right? Oh yeah, that's um, true. Right. Another example. Yeah, that game never went to early access. That was like an indie game that got picked up, and then it was, you know, it got that publicity and blah blah blah. I'll send yeah. you the video. Yeah. You'll understand. Yeah. You will understand. It, but, yeah, uh, it's a trip. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then uh, another game that that reminds me of a similar situation that Tom Romance was. Um, did you if you remember Ro- Total War Rome Two? How that was also me with Angry Joe, like how that was like, such a disastrous launch, one of the worst launches of the year. Um, oh yeah, uh, shameful display. <laughs> yeah, just everything was a disaster. And they were saying, it's not just that the thing is buggy, but the core of the game is bad too, you know? And um, if you ask almost any Total War fan what their favorite you know, Total War game is, they will all say Rome too. It is such a good game now. They fixed all the bugs and they changed the core mechanics of the game and how the game plays and all that stuff. And just everything the fans wanted, they finally have it. And it's the best game they've made. So, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah, Ark has that potential. It has that potential. But, like, unless it's fully fixed and... Not all like I mean even the file size is ridiculous. Like let's be real, like that's that's a huge wall from for anyone from coming in. I think I only have about two hundred and fifty gigs left of my you know a uh, hard drive. I mean if 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 triple A games without compression come out at forty, and that's with them not even trying to like compress the game, right? Yeah. Forty gigs. Yeah. These guys can't get those down to under two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is it just get it to on top? Like, is a hundred too much? Like, too little to us? Give me a break. Yeah. That's you know, like, it's like yeah. I feel like they could have focused more on the issues rather than building more DLCs, which kind of expanded yeah. the space, right? We mm-hmm. kept it at like a hundred gigs, you know, max, and then just worked on the issues and you yeah. know, move forward from there. Like to like to give it a little bit of perspective. Uh, the Isle Rico came out recently, and it's supposed to be this giant overhaul of an update to the base game. And I remember thinking, holy shit, this thing is going to be like over 50 gigabytes or 110 gigabytes. No, no, it was only 35 megabytes. Oh. And this is supposed to like... a few gigs, the, pa- the patch next to it was a few gigs. Yeah, I know, but like, still, it's like yeah. a graphical overhaul, a new map that is four times larger than the new, uh, than the pre-existing base map, whole new textures, whole new plants, whole new assets, whole new everything, and yet they kept it to thirty-five megabytes. Sure, mm. they're, uh, like getting rid of some of the previous data, but like the base game itself isn't all that big. I've downloaded animation software that was even smaller to 25 megabytes. Uh, but yeah, it's like... Uh, I mean, I... So by the way, the game you took was No Man's Sky, right? Yeah. What uh, no, no, no. Oh, uh, David, David muted himself. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, okay, he's gone. But... 
no, okay, so I, I was just looking it up. So um, Red Dead Redemption 2 was 99 gigabytes. No Man's Sky is 6 gigabytes. You know? I mean, these are big games. I'm just using it as an example, right? I can look up a few more games, but like 200 is a is an insult. Like, what yeah. the hell is that? I mean, if you think about it, um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare is about the same thing. It's like, it's at, it's at 200 gigs right now. Yeah, but at least it works, right? <laughs> yeah, it works for the most part. You know, I mean, it does have issues here and there, but for the most part, it does work. Yeah. It's not like ARC, you know, where you have trouble joining in. Unless you have, like, I a mean, really crappy internet, you can join in yeah. really easily. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. The, the, this, we're entering into territory where we feel like there's a chance that we might be talking about something that we may not have... Uh, privy to like in terms of what causes some games to have a bigger file size versus others, you know, because uh, that could be an issue as well. Because like maybe there's something that developers, maybe it's a programming thing, maybe it's an engine thing. I don't know. Um, but... I think it's I think it's important to point out though that it's not just us. Yeah, Every, most people. I think most people would agree. Just like two hundred mm -hmm. gigabytes. That's when your computer has to store. I mean, people who are PC game, like, even even PC fucking, you know, yeah, uh, gaming PCs, they still have to have files for other games. Exactly. Other things, you know, to, like, with that download, it's just like, it's kind of a joke that the art of compression is lost. Yeah. But and, 200. You know, exactly. Yeah. And, you um, know, it's like, like, okay, let's say there is a problem in the like that game developers know the, the the reason and we don't right even then that's too much gigs like that's too yeah big. no it's like two, 200 if gigabytes this... is not healthy honestly exactly now i literally don't want to get the game anymore even if it's yeah. fixed like uh, i will have to delete so much to have space for that and i don't want to do that and you know that's frustrating you know yeah um... so Yo, yo, auto, auto. I just, re I just realized. Yo, fucking, fucking updated. Uh, Battle EA Battlefront Two is a hundred gigs. Oh wow! It's like half the size of this. I know. Yeah. I, oh, yeah I, know, I looked online. Do you know how big uh, No Man's Sky is? How about six gigs? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, that, uh, I mean, that generation technology is something. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. How about we just start rounding down? Uh, where are we at? Like an hour, thirty minutes in. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm just sad now. Yeah. I'm sad. Yeah. yeah I want to. I love. Uh, I do want. Originally, I wanted to end this with you know asking you guys a question of you know if the devs were to do something. Uh, what would they have to do to make you come back to the game? But I think what would be more appropriate get under two hundred. <laughs> get it two hundred. No, no, no. I, download I, it. I feel like, I I, I feel like if I ask that question, we'll all say the same thing. But here, here's a more personal question: What was your greatest moment in Ark? Now it could be like the funniest thing that happened, or the most depressing thing that happened, or uh, just in terms like. The best thing that happened to you in that game, what was it? For me, it was the swamp story. <laughs> I think, I think it it was a disaster, right? But the 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 high we were on, were in the beginning of that adventure, and the low we went in that often. <laughs> yeah, I, I still look back like, wow, that that that, that was. Uh, that, that was just a, a, a it was a horrible experience yeah but in like one of the most fun you know and exciting ways i've had in a game you know like so that that that's just one of so many good experiences to be honest you know so. yeah like it was terrible but it was fun it was fun yeah <laughs> especially when we look back at it like realistic right yeah it's, yeah uh melinda what about you <laughs> oh man, that, that day. Yeah, it's 
you know, we, we like start a game and then you never know what to expect. And that's the best part about it because it's unexpected. Yeah, I'm exactly. talking about the good here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like your personal best moment in the game. I would say exploring the map because it was so fun. You know, it's day and night and the cycle just goes on. And, you know, you find new creatures, you find new, uh, you know, stuff like yeah. all the stuff for the adventure. And, uh, you just never know what to expect. So that kind of thrill and the, the fun and the adventure you have in a game, that's really hard to find in, you know, usual games. Because yeah. it's either, okay, you just shoot someone and they die and then they respawn. Or you, know, you just go exploring and you don't find anything at all. But this game is dinosaurs. Come on. So it's like a next level, right? So that part yeah. for me was really fun like fantastic uh, yeah you know uh, I'm getting about, sad now <laughs> yeah <laughs> what about you david i was uh building their house the oh house. yeah i, knew, I was... knew you would say that that was <laughs> your that was your brainchild yeah, yeah it was like it was such a daunt especially like being four players and half honestly half that house was just me logging it was solo logging in and slogging through the yeah. process um yeah that's it was just like you. something that I, I swear to God, I thought I would quit. I would give up on this. <laughs> yeah, that was such a that was such a cool idea too. You know, I yeah. I mean, I actually really liked the roof house. It was it was very ambitious. You became a tyrant. <laughs> yeah, I'm like an architect. <laughs> can I get some wood to do this for me? That, that when you were building the river house, that's when you were just giving out orders, you know. <laughs> yeah. And because you were doing all the stuff like on your own too, your level was way higher than everyone else's. So if you tried to screw with you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because like you, you were kind of like our leader, right? Because like you were yeah. telling us what to do, and then we were just following you everywhere. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of was. God, for me, it, it's so hard to choose. Like, we had our moments in uh, the island, but Ragnarok was when, like, I got started getting more ambitious ideas. Um, I guess the greatest moment... Jesus Christ, almost every sesh we had was a good sesh. Like, we <laughs> were always doing something new. It was always something uh, fun. Like, uh, you know, Ragnarok was just out of the blue. Uh, when me and Melinda, we got those first two wyvern eggs, it was absolutely nuts. Um, yeah, and the work we had to do for it. Yeah. Jesus and Christ. Also, David's quest to find the frozen wyvern egg, that was insane too. It's like, oh, jeez. And then there was you also... Know, I if I could pick one for you, I think uh, when you decided to avenge K.R.V. with the dragon. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, so, like, to finish off the story earlier, Kaori died. She got stunned by an electric wyvern, and because there was water on... By the way, there's, like, two coves in Ragnarok where wyverns spawn. We went to the second one, which was a literal cove. And, yeah, I tried to save her. I tried my best. Like, I was feeding her everything in her inventory to keep her health up, but, yeah, she she died right in front of me. And then, you know, we had a service, we had a memorial, we even made a tombstone for her. But then we just went ham. We had a good 27 wyverns on us, and we just went back for vengeance. And, yeah, there was that. But, yeah, it's like remembering all the events we had, like, whether it was, like, the very first session we had to, uh, to that, like, epic battle we had with the Giganotosaurus or the Wyvern army or going out to sea trying to catch Megalodons. It, it was all so great, and I honestly feel bad that we have to abandon it out of, you know, both necessity and annoyance. Yeah, it just yeah. feels like we can never go back to it, you know? Yeah. And even if we do, I feel like it'll never be the same. And that's the sad part. Like, I wouldn't mind if it's different, because if it's different for the better, so be yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I would love to come back to it, but honestly, I, I can't. 
the kids. Yeah. And it, I'm so mad that. And you we, know, as for you, like you don't want to spend so much time installing yeah. like a 200 gig game because yeah. it's probably gonna take a long time, right? Yeah. Also, I- I'm so mad that we weren't able to record these yeah. because you know, it's like, like when we talk about all these events, it's like I would love to revisit these, but can't because we never recorded them. And I know we try to do a let's play, but if we even attempt to do a let's play then like i think at first we all need to have like powerful pcs with over like two terabytes of space and just to be on the safe side just play the vanilla game that's it that's yeah. the only reason why i have the game still because like my hard drive is four terabytes <laughs> so that's the only reason why i have oh you son of a bitch <laughs> 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 asshole <laughs> <laughs> like we're all complaining about space and this guy just waltz on in with four terabytes. But the thing is I have not opened that game in so long. I'm pretty sure I haven't opened it since like twenty nineteen. Yeah. God yeah. Yeah. It's like I did install the game and I got my gaming PC. Yeah. Just because I wanted to kinda of make I thought that we might just get back into it. But you know but yeah. seeing all that all these kind of negative comments about it online and everywhere. I was like, okay, maybe this was not the best idea to download it. <laughs> like, because it did take me a long ass time to download it. <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe the game will be working better for all. I think me and David, we need to get like our own proper gaming PCs before we yeah. think about attempting to go back to. Yeah. yeah, I mean, don't, don't a, it, that's part of the problem with PC gaming too, you know, like you, you can't always guarantee the same experience across the board because yeah. like, I mean, you guys have good computers. Like I, like I know Dave, Rahul has a nice gaming laptop and uh, David, you have a, a Chromebook or something, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's just notebook. It was yeah. like, like it was a gift. a notebook? Damn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can play, like I can play like, all these other games on it. Mm. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, hell, the longest time we did, I did play art. So, at first, when I was crashing, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a note. I have a note, but I have to, ex- I have to compromise. I-, I know that, right? <laughs> but it just got worse. Yeah. Yeah. Without getting, and like, it's all like, oh, we up the grass, like, the grass torn up. You know, yeah. The, the, yeah. The, the, the experience never. Yeah, but I mean, hey, the, the, the problems of the games were for everyone. You know, yeah, I don't. Exactly. I, mean, I, don't, I, don't I don't even think it was about the PC or the yeah. you know the laptop because it was just Yo, about the of, server. At the- mm-hmm. One of the most shocking things I I experienced was when I went to your house one day and we just launched it just to test something, right? Mm-hmm. And I realized that it didn't really look that much different on your end. <laughs> your <laughs> yeah. 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 So, uh, so uh, yeah, I, I guess that's it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, one day I just might like take a because since I, I already have it installed, I just might take a look at it again just to see if anything has changed. But I don't really want to take the risk either, just because I feel like I'm. I mean, the thing that means that they've added an expansion. I mean, granted, you you do have like four terabytes of space to <laughs> to fuck around with, so <laughs> you, you don't need to worry about that, my guy. It's much more fun with playing someone else than no, my so, yeah. so, so, We're all holding the same stuff, mate. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's like um, yeah, it's God damn it! Now I'm even more depressed than I usually am. Cause, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, it's such a it, it is. A Why the fuck we do this? <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, good day. Why do we talk about happier things? Like yeah. total worry. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't do this to me, Jason. That's another, that's another podcast. You know. I'm depressed right now. I don't want to die at the end of this podcast. God. <laughs> that's another podcast. So. Oh. <laughs> the sad thing, the worst part about that is I. Re- more about that <laughs> yeah we we could do a podcast about that sometime too I mean, we I will. You could, yes. yeah so, uh yeah that's uh <laughs> that's our arc podcast jesus we're like ending on a super low uh, here another <laughs> another another podcast. have to put rambling in brackets <laughs> yeah like 
I, I don't usually say comments, but hey, if you know of a game that's like Ark but functions yeah. way better, please, for the love of please. God, leave the know. name let in the know. comments yeah. down below. I know, I know. I know David mentioned uh, uh, what do you call it? No Man's Sky, but if you got any other games, it's also multiplayer. Just like let us know, you know. Yeah, yeah just comment um, down below. You know, we, we this, this is the one time to ask you to watch, comment, yeah. please. Yeah. Oh my God. Our dedicated watchers, please. Like even the auto, you know, it it just doesn't feel like Ark. It, you know, it's unique. It, it's well, the is a completely it, different totally game totally than yeah. Yeah, it's different. its own animal entirely. Yeah. Like with Ark, it's more so like caveman survival. Exactly. You, get... you are the dinosaur. Yeah, you get to play as human, right? You get to tame it uh, uh, in Ark, and then and then in the Isle, you're just a dinosaur. You just try yeah. to survive. And, you know, a different thing. It's a different beast. Yeah, it's a different yeah, crowd. Yeah. It's even. a different animal. Uh, comparing Ark them... was for people. Ark was more like Minecraft. Rust meets dinosaurs. Yeah. 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 Plus 3D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess that's everything we have to say. Um, yeah. Don't forget to comment that game, please. <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting for it. Yes. Yeah. Um, please help us. But yeah, uh, this is the Lone Colony uh, signing out. See you all next time. Till the next one. Goodbye. Bravo 6, going dark. <laughs> Mission failure. We'll get them next time. <laughs>